I'm not trying to mail anybody a pepperoni in a book. I boom, I sold 650,000 in used books on Amazon in 2015. You see that? That's hustle. What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about whether or not you should clean your books before you send them into Amazon FBA. I know some people that clean almost every single book that they send in to Amazon FBA. Whether or not the book visually looks dirty, they take alcohol or lighter fluid and they just clean the front and back cover, wax on, wax off, of every single book that they send off to Amazon FBA. And I'll agree, that does make the book look amazing. But at what cost and at what return are you getting anything out of doing that and how long does it take you? It takes you a while, I guarantee it. Um, and no, I don't think you're gonna get anything in return out of that. 99% um, of all the books we sell, and like I said, we sold 65,000 books on Amazon in 2015, were not cleaned. 99.9%. .9%. So the only time I clean a book is if visually it's dirty. Visually, it has to, and, and it even has to be like, actually dirty not just like a little dingy or a little dusty or whatever like it has to have like a splotch on it or like some boogers or like some barbecue sauce or like a, a a feelable residue that you could feel on the surface in those situations i do clean off the books i'm not trying to mail anybody a pepperoni in a book right <laughs> shout out to greg murphy that's pretty funny um but yeah, don't don't worry about cleaning your books. This is what you need to worry about. Getting books, getting them listed online, and packing them into boxes, and shipping your birds out. Keep your birds flying out, and you'll be all right. Your energy is way better spent on sourcing inventory, listing inventory, and getting it shipped out than worrying about cleaning books. Don't worry about it. They're used books. People expect them to be used. You're not getting anything from cleaning them. It, even if it makes you feel good, you gotta just throw that feeling away because you need to use that time to make more money and become more efficient in your online business. Now, if you guys like this quick little tip video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what other kind of tips or questions you need answers regarding uh, your Amazon FBA book business and um, I'll be sure to get to them pretty quick. Until next time, peace out guys.